It's rowdy here in Fist Energy Stadium. Even though the economy's a mess in this city, these are some of the best sports fans in the country. I heard things were so bad that Leland Casino was turned into an Indian reservation, Grim. Yeah, why don't you just open a window and take a leak all over the fans? And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Mile High Chronic take on the Leland Burns. Hi, this is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the Mutant Football League. We'll be right back for kickoff, but first, let's listen in on the pregame speech. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzrow here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. It's almost time for kickoff, and I could not be more thrilled. I know you won't stop squeezing my shoulder. Sorry, Briggs. It's uh, just so exciting. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, good run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah. Uh, the kicker died on that play. That's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do the Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. Hot, hot one. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down and five. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Ben. <laughs> it's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Down in. The punter is warming up. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much 
harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. to the races he's at the 40 the 30 the 20 the 10 it's a touchdown hey man nobody can touch you with an eyeball i take all you mutants out that's right hey what you talking about Pop? Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy. A brick and this guy just exploded into flames. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. You want to do some better next time. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey, didn't your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? I didn't move the changes, Gord, did it? How good can it be? Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the refs some cash. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Whenever a player gets bit. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Uh, normally, I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Uh, Grim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, they did. We're, we're going to go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. I hope you covered your ears, Brick. He caught him. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Welcome to the MFL Halftime Show. Once again, it's time to enter the cage and fight for your life. Uh, sounds like my gym class was just a Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Rip the toast! Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time! Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I hit. 
this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Hot. It was a risky throw, and the defense made him pay. He'll have to hope for amnesia or brain damage and move on. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And look how happy that little demon is after that score. Ooh, that means he won't drag any souls into the pit of hell for at least another three hours. Demons are so moody. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britain. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. Catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they hit. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. <laughs> They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And that's a more speed dirty trick. Look at him go. If the flash in the road run had a baby, and it was the fastest thing ever, this guy'd be faster. <laughs> the onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. First and ten. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets flopping. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way.
Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. since they can't rest their players. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Third down and nine. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. Nicely done for a first down. Quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And it's first and ten. Hot two. Hot, 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 hot. If he had getting killed by a chainsaw before he completed his bucket list, <laughs> and about seven yards on that run. Timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! At this rate, the QB's gonna have more interceptions than completions. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. No, that's right. What you talking about? Yeah, for one game, they weren't the worst. The Cleveland Burns win! After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, that I have a tell Well, let's you listen to the, the MVP. Time. I'm hey. sure he has something inspiring to say. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.